This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of The Boxing Bookie. I got a good show for you today. We're going to show you how to make money on Lee Wood versus Josh Warrington. Really intriguing fight, a really good fight. I think it's a fight we can make a lot of money on. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Uh, but before I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. And we've already got great testimonies of people making money. I'm going to show you how to make money. Uh on boxing the boxing odds makers the bookmakers don't know how to handicap the sport i'm going to show you in this fight um also please subscribe to our other channel texas boxing scene on youtube that is texas boxing scene all proceeds go to autism research and recovery all right let's get into today's show uh we got a good one for you warrington and wood is a fight of the year type of fight on paper um, and it's a really intriguing fight. When I saw the odds. I, I, I was a bit surprised. I, I think Lee Wood is a bit overrated from his last two wins. I think his last two wins show you that he fights into the hands of Josh Warrington. Uh, look, look, Wood's got power. He carries his power late. He definitely carries his power late. He's got uh, the, the win over Conley. He's got a late win over uh, Reese Moulds. He's got a, a late knockout over Suzanne in another really close fight, which I thought he was winning, but who knows what the judges have, right? Who knows? It was a really, really close competitive fight, and, and Wood pulled it out with a, a 12th round knockout again. Um, and he got the 12th round knockout over Conlon in a really close fight, which I thought he was probably losing. Um, so he carries his power weight. But I want to show you how his last two wins kind of fight into the hands of Josh Warrington, right? Like those two wins really put him on the next pedestal, and I think that shows you that he fights into the hands of Warrington. Warrington's a high volume pressure fighter, and I think his power is a little underrated. I really do. Like I, I understand, you know, um, Warrington's pop, his knockout percentage is pathetic, right? He's got like eight knockouts and 32 wins. It's not good. He stopped Kiko Martinez. He had Luis Alberto Lopez hurt a couple of times late in that fight. Lopez has an iron jaw, right? Um, you know, he uh, he's been stopped by Laura, but he's also got a, stop, a knockout before that in, in his win over uh, – so Fane Tokachot. Am I saying that right? The French South Point guy that he fought um, after the Kid Galahad fight. Um, he had Frampton hurt a couple of times. He can hit. He can hit. Um, I'm not saying he's going to knock him out. He's not going to knock him out. But I'm saying he's not feather fist. That's my entire point. He's not feather fisted, right? Like, you can't he, – he's not Paulie Melanagi. You're not going to just walk through his shots even though his knockout percentage is trash. Um, so I, I think there's that. And if you look at Wood's last two wins – the two wins that kind of propelled him, right? And Wood's a good fighter. He's just really, really footy. He's flat-footed. He, he's heavy up the front foot. He, he gets hit by everything. He's got a weird guard. A Warrington can get it on the inside and land the uppercut, split the card, and land from different angles. Um, I, I don't like the, how Wood throws in combinations. He leaves himself wide open. Um, Warrington can counter him. But if I look at this, right, the two wins that have really propelled Wood's status, the win over Conlon. Conlon faded late. Conlon was winning the fight. Conlon faded late. The second one, Laura. Laura didn't throw any punches. Laura had knocked him out when he did, and when he didn't, he, he lost wide, right? So you got one guy who didn't throw any punches, one guy who faded late. What I can tell you for sure, with 100% certainty, is that Warrington's not going to fade late, and he's going to throw punches. So neither of those things are going to play into Wood's hands. He's not going to have either one of those advantages. Now, Wood keeps his power late, like I said. So that's going to be the last thing that goes. There's, there's two ways I can see this fight ending. Warrington piles up the points, stays on his feet, wins his decision. Or Warrington, in his aggression, walks into something and gets knocked out. Those are the two possibilities. I think Warrington survives. I think Warrington's going to pile up the points. I think there may be some scary moments where he does get tagged, but I think he will see the end of the fight and he'll win a decision. All right? So what does that look like as far as gambling? Well, let's take – and I was surprised by these odds, but let's take a look. 
Lee Wood is a minus 255. So you got to bet 255 to make 100 bucks. Now, Warrington is being paid. Warrington to win on the money line is basically paying two to one, 195. $1, $1 bet makes you $195. The other bet I like is Warrington plus 215. Uh, I'm sorry, over under on 10 and a half rounds is plus 215. They're telling you that Wood is going to knock him out through 10 rounds. Could happen. I don't see it. He didn't knock Suzanne out within that, that distance. He didn't knock Mike Connell out. Warrant is better than both those guys. I think this run right here is a good bet. And I, I don't think Warrant is going to knock him out at all. So um, the other bet I love. And you could take either one, right? Is Josh Warrington by decision is paying plus four hundred, right? So if Warrington wins this fight by decision, which I think is going to happen, you add up all these bets, you're going to walk away with eight hundred and ten dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. Eight hundred and ten dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. Right, whatever you want to bet, right, you're going to make over two and a half times. If you wanted to hedge that and Lee Wood wins by knockout, because he's not, I can't see him winning a decision. If Lee Wood stops Josh Warrington, that pays 285. Well, that basically hedges your whole bet. Now, you Lose 100, right? So you'd walk away. If you make this bet, if you're doing what I tell you to do here, and you bet Wood to win by knockout, you're going to lose nothing. You're going to lose $15 on a $300 bet. Okay, so your downside is $15. I'm sorry, $15. Um, yeah, your downside is $1,500. Sorry. Your downside is $15. It's the most you can lose if you, if you bet this way. Okay. If I'm right, you're going to make $710 on that bet, right? So you're downside $15, upside $710. This is what I mean. They don't know how to handicap the sport. If I'm wrong, if I'm 100% wrong, and Wood knocks him out in two rounds, you lost $15. If I'm right, you made $710. This is just saying that they don't know how to handicap the sport. This isn't even gambling. This is investing. This is taking, making wise business, but weighing upside versus downside. Again, I'm in Texas. I can't bet on DraftKings. I can't use this website. I don't gamble. But if you do, take it from a professional, someone who's done this many times in the past. I no longer gamble. This here, what weigh your downside versus your upside. I, if you lose the $15, I can get you that money back on the Hopi price fight. Right? I can get you that money back. But this, I look at the upside versus the downside. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Box, on all forms of social media. Work with the bookie, the Boxing Bookie, show you how to bring down the house. Also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is October 2nd, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.